Allen Arena sees its first volleyball match in over 400 days this afternoon, and Lipscomb takes it 3-1 to one over MTSU. And they sweep the season series 2-0 over the last 48 hours here in Tennessee. John Freeman, Justin Seaman were on the call. We're joined by Megan Cooper, the captain. Double-digit kills again tonight, Megan. And first of all, what was it like to finally get back to playing volleyball in your home arena? It was amazing. I was so nervous. Like, just I got like the pregame jitters that I was getting when I was a freshman. So it's just crazy to finally be back, and I feel so blessed and grateful for that. Well, Megan, this was a situation, too, where – you know, this season has gone so crazy because you, you get your season canceled in the fall. Now you move to the spring. Mm -hmm. Conference schedule is going to be different where you're playing back-to-back. -back. And so it's set up in the non-conference where you play back-to-back -back against Middle Tennessee. You know, as a senior, you don't get too many opportunities left to play here. What was it like playing them on Friday night and now jumping back again and playing again on Sunday? I loved it. I mean, they brought a whole different game, and we tried to match that. Uh it's just fun to see different lineups, different um, plays that we're running to kind of get us going and get back into the flow of things. We've got the highlights up on the screen. I know you can't see them, but uh, we were noticing such variation in your shots this afternoon. Talk us through when that ball is coming to you. What are you thinking about? Uh, I, I try to not hit into the block for sure, but my, the back row has been such a help uh, telling us where to hit. and. Kind of just when I see a shot, take it. Trust my swing. That's what Brandon's really kind of pushing us to do. And I think all of the hitters have been doing such a good job of that. Coach Rosenthal's talked about you guys have such a versatile group this year, and you're one of the four seniors that's going to be leading that group as a captain. Just talk a little bit about a, uh, your leadership style and what you're trying to do as a senior here for this team. They make leading so easy because, I mean, this is probably the closest group of players that I've ever played with, um, believe it or not. But they come to a practice every day. They work so hard. They, I mean, it makes my job so much easier. All right, next up is UAB. You guys play them at home, and you also face them on the road. What's the next week look like for you as a student athlete playing in the middle of a pandemic, <laughs> going to school, playing volleyball, yeah. and staying healthy while you do it? Yeah, off day tomorrow, so that's nice. But once we get back into the gym on Tuesday, we're hitting the ground running. Megan, congratulations. Thank you. Two wins to start the season for Megan Cooper and the Lipscomb Bisons. We'll talk to head coach Brandon Rosenthal in just a moment. Let's go ahead and take a look at our stats. There you see 16 kills for Megan Cooper. Also, Delaney Dill for 43 assists tonight. Second straight match where she's over four. Yeah, I mean, she did a fantastic job, I think, and I know Coach Rosenthal can, can speak to that too when he jumps on. But uh, Logan Gish as well, 14 kills for Lipscomb and Samantha Rubel. She had 16 too. See if Coach Rosenthal is ready, and there we go. Got the headset on from across the court. We do have Coach Rosenthal, and it's Coach, been a while, guys. It, it sure has. Welcome to broadcasting in 2021. I love it. Love it. Welcome to volleyball in Allen Arena in 2021. Did you ever think you'd be playing a game in January in this arena? What was the experience like? You know, I said the other night it was 430 days, and when you when you think about just playing in here, I mean, it's probably 450 some days. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's awesome. I walked out here and to see the crowd was phenomenal and the atmosphere is great. You know, it's it, this is a special place. We've had a lot of victories here and, you know, this is a tough place to play. So uh, to be back in this COVID kind of setting, you know, props to our fans, props to uh, Hutch and uh, props to Lipscomb for making it happen. Because, again, I said this earlier to you guys, not everybody has this opportunity. Well, Coach, you, you talked about, uh, you know, before the game, you, you wanted your team to be aggressive, and you didn't know what it was going to look like necessarily playing these back-to-back -back games, but I think it's a good test. You've got these two weekends where you go back-to-back -back against the same team before you move into conference where you're going to do that. But talk about especially how you, the, the tone was set in that first set. Uh, I thought your transition was very good in that first set, and you guys just really dominated that first set. I love it. You're learning, man. You're learning. <laughs> hey, no, listen, I, 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 it's hard to – you know, set one was awesome. It really was from a coaching standpoint and just how simple and how disciplined we were. Um, and, that, and that's hard because I think the game of volleyball lends itself to, you know, these really big plays. But, you know, we preach discipline. And so if it looks easy and simple, then we're doing it right. If it looks like we're scattered, we're, we're not, you know. So uh, set one was that. And set two, they came out. And uh, they did a great job of battling back. 
uh, and putting pressure on us, and we just didn't handle it, it, you know, all that well. But you know, I think that, you know, I asked them in in, in the locker room between two and three. I was like, how many of you have lost the set of volleyball? And they kind of just looked at me like a dad joke, you know. And of course, all of them have. And I said, all right, so that's it. You know, it's one one. And we don't have to go and get that one back. We just play the next one. So. You know, I'm proud of this team. Uh, it's a, it's an awesome group. I'm talking with Coach Brandon Rosenthal as Lipscomb gets the victory 3-1 over MTSU. And Coach, when we were speaking before this match started, I uh, asked you a question about, you know, where does this team rank in certain areas of your tenure? And you said, this is probably one of, if not the deepest teams that you've ever had at Lipscomb. Uh, how much of an advantage has that been in a season where you end up scrimmaging each other a whole lot? You're getting good competition in the A place to be. Yeah, it's awesome and it's it's really hard, you know, because at times from a coaching standpoint, I'm not exactly sure if we're great on defense or really bad on offense, you know, that type of thing. And, and that's one of those things that, you know, it, it's awesome to be able to play somebody else. And so, uh, yeah, no doubt. It is one of the deepest teams that we've ever had. And, you know, the competitiveness in the gym every day is is off the charts. Um, so it, it will help us, you know, throughout the year. I think as far as ranking uh, this team amongst, you know, all of our teams, I think we've got a ways to go to, you know, really get to that point. And we kind of, uh, we talk about that because the alumni are such a huge part. And these girls know what, what has happened here before. And, and we really try to focus on, hey, right here, right now. And, uh, you know, ultimately our play will take care of, you know, the rankings and that stuff later. So uh, just excited. These, these guys are, it's awesome. Coach, you, you talked about it before the game, but just the blessing to be able to play. And, and you told us, but you, you may not, this bigger platform that you can kind of get out to the fans, just how difficult of an offseason this has been, but how great of senior leaders you have and, and people like Megan Cooper, Samantha Rubel, Zwolinski, Maher, to really have this group that has kind of fought through this situation and, and you know, just what it's meant for even the community now to get to see some volleyball, just some sense of normalcy. Yeah, you're exactly right. And, I mean, tonight is a perfect example of that, you know, doing, uh, our first senior night on the on the first home match, just because we're not uh, you know exactly sure what the, is to come for the season, and I really wanted to make sure that uh, you know at, at minimum these girls you know got the recognition that I think is due to them. And yeah, I mean the senior leadership is huge, I, and I don't think it happened overnight. I think that they themselves had to work through some things, and they challenged me. And uh, you know sometimes that's hard to hear as a coach, but it, I took some time to listen to them. And, uh, you know, this has been tough. I, I really mean that. And I, not just us. I would imagine anybody. But um, these guys have been through so much. I mean, 28 days of quarantine that they went through. Um, you know, and you think about it from an athlete, you know, an athlete standpoint. Um, we can't work out. And, and your routine is just you're in a room. Uh, and some of them here on campus. So, uh, again, we love the fact that the university continues to push forward and has the safety measures and standards in place. And, uh, you know, but there is a reality to this and it's really, really tough. And so I'm thankful, blessed, you know, whatever the words are that we get this opportunity because there, there truly is, there is girls right now and teams right now in division one, our friends, coaching colleagues that don't have this opportunity. And so we talked about that with our girls. Hey, you know, we can't lose sight of that. And this, quite honestly, we've seen it all over the country with sports and things like that. It could be taken away any second. So uh, we're going to do our best to uh, honor that and, and really play kind of not only for ourselves, but uh, the bigger, you know, volleyball community as a whole. Season in full swing now, Coach. Congratulations on the victory. What do you do? You got, a, you got an off day tomorrow. You're going to get to relax a little bit? Yeah, uh, yeah. We typically give them off Sunday and Wednesday, uh, so playing on Sunday, we'll give them off tomorrow, which you know they deserve. And then it's kind of right back to it. So, you know, and that's a, another tough thing. I was exhausted, you know, uh, Friday night, Saturday night, because all of a sudden you're right back into your normal coaching routine, and you know, for 450 days, that's been you know completely disrupted and. You know, uh, I don't want to say I got lazy. I don't think I did, but you know, just the normal patterns are, are different. So it's given, it's afforded me an opportunity to be with my kids and with my family, and and I'm, I'm thankful for that. I know COVID is, you know, talked negatively uh, and and rightfully so, but you know, there's some 
amazing, beautiful things that have come out of it. And I think uh, not only these girls, but uh, the rest of the athletes, I, I really hope that they are able to use this to propel their futures and, and really kind of, you know, use this as perspective. Well, Coach, kick those feet up. Enjoy the celebrations. <laughs> Perfect some start football to tonight. the season. Mm -hmm. We'll see you on Friday. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate what you guys do. And, again, thank you to their fans. And a shout-out to my mom and dad <laughs> at home. Uh, I know they're watching. Love you guys. Thank you, Coach. That is Lipscomb's Coach Brendan Rosenthal and his team getting the 3-1 to -one victory over Middle Tennessee. Next up, a duet with UAB. That's a Friday night match and then followed on the road in Birmingham on January 30th, then we get into the conference play. Just four non-conference matches, Justin, and they're gonna be knocked out real quick here by the end of January. They will, and uh, conference play is a coming, and uh, Lipscomb looking forward to that, I'm sure, And uh, but try to finish some business in the non-conference. So UAB on the horizon, that'll be Friday night right here at Allen Arena on ESPN+. Lipscomb gets the victory 3-1 over MTSU. The Lady Bisons are 2-0.